It always feels good when you put your opponent's life down to zero. In fact, most Hearthstone games are won that way. That's why finding little is one of the important skills to learn if you want to master Hearthstone. So today, I'm going to share with you few tips that I personally use to help me identify little even in unlikely situation. Tip number one, count your damage on board plus hand at the beginning of your turn before doing something else. Ask yourself, do I have little? And do I have the mana for it? Take a look at this example. And it is highly unlikely that no, Trip is actually going to be able to kill him. He's bought himself all the time he needs right now. Yeah. So, like we said before, though, he can't, uh, Crip can't even play an Azura Drake right now because the board is completely full. That's what we were yeah, talking he, about before. I mean, so, the only thing he could do is Shadow of Death one of his own minions. Right. Ultimately. And he doesn't want to do that because anything he would draw into wouldn't be enough. And oh, ladies and gentlemen, oh, there's there Frostbolt. We, uh, we have Pyroblast up there as well. He throws out the Cold Light Oracle. He's, he, he, the thing is, he can afford to. He's yeah. got two Ice Blocks in his hand. He doesn't have to do anything right, right now. He's going to play a second Cold Light Oracle. He's actually going to flood his opponent's hand to maximum right there. All right, and uh, could throw out that ice block. Hopefully, he does here in just a second. Well, if he doesn't throw out the ice block, he immediately dies. Right, so I certainly so hope I'm, he does that. He's got a. He's he doesn't really have much else for one. The ice lance isn't probably going to be used here. He'll probably pass on that. Uh, it is one of the most notorious Miss Little clip of all time. From this, we can learn that Miss Little is simply doing something else other than actually killing your opponent when you have the ability to. Tip number two, think on your opponent's turn. I've seen a lot, a lot of players overlook this tip. They thought it's enough to think only on their turns. Make use of your opponent's turn. Try to be on their shoes. What can they possibly do? Can they set up little themselves, etc, etc. You can even think of your possible top decks that can help you get the little you need for the following turn and or the order of play. Take a look at this example. Okay, so we have how much damage do we have? 6, 7, 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 4 is 16. Who's that? Right? Let's recount. Is it that? 6, 7, 8, plus 4, plus 4. And we have the mana for it? Yes, we do. <laughs> you see right there? That was the application of tip number 1 and tip number 2. I counted my time and my resource on my opponent's turn, so I wasted no time to execute it on my turn. Because sometimes, if you are playing decks like APM Priest, for example, you need lots of time and focus to be able to execute properly, and you can't afford to waste any time during your turn. Tip number 3. I'm going to call this tip number 3A and 3B because these two tips are related. Tip number 3A. 90% of the time, setting up little is better than any other alternatives. When you set up little, you're forcing your opponent to respond, or else they're dead. When your opponent is forced to respond, it changes or possibly ruin their game plan. Think of it this way. If you have 10 power on board and your opponent is at 20, by dealing 10 damage this turn to their face, you are asking them to stop at least your next 10 damage instead of progressing with whatever their original plan is. Excluding damage from your hand, even. But tip number 3B, which is closely related to tip number 3A, remember that your opponent plays the game too. Think of the possibility of taunts, healing, or even little setup of their own. You need to be aware of these things. That's why this tip is relevant even for control players. Because by mastering finding little yourself, you can quite possibly deny your opponent little and at least be aware of their little setup. Tip number four, practice, practice, practice. 
try to finish the Boomstay project little puzzle for example without looking for the solution online learn from the pro players watch the streams etc etc one more thing don't feel too bad for missing little even the pro players do it from time to time you just need to evaluate learn from it and practice again i hope that this simple video can give you better perspective to improve your ability of spotting little play more towards your win condition and be more aware when your opponents set up little themselves please click like and subscribe button so you know when my new videos are released for you you can find me every day at twitch.tv slash abkskate my schedule is there see you next time bye bye